The average GigaChad anime watcher could separate reality from fiction, separate headcanon from canon material, and also could take a look at this PV for the upcoming episode of My Hero Academia, and they'll take a hard look at this, they'll go about their day after watching it, not think too much about it, and they won't even realize why a lot of people are getting upset with this. That is your GigaChad anime watcher. Then, we fast forward to our terminally online anime watcher, and we get stuff like this. People molding and upset about Mina's skin color. I want to be honest with you. I want to be completely blunt. When I watched this PV trailer when it aired Saturday morning, I didn't even notice it. I'm, I'm going to be honest, and I want to be even more blunt. When this happened in the manga, and you can even see the effects happening to her skin here, I didn't even notice it. I want to be honest, it's a very subtle detail. But, clearly... It happens in the manga, and the anime replicates this as well. But, there is something I am aware of, besides obviously not noticing this, or even noticing this. The literal info on Mina tells you why she looks like she does. And the fact that people are absolutely molding and shocked a Japanese character, a Japanese person, in a Japanese anime looks Japanese, and has the skin tone of a Japanese person, blows my mind. But, at the end of the day, this is Twitter. This is the cesspool as Twitter that can't separate reality from fiction, and they make their headcanons canon. We have seen it time and time again. Let's just think about the shipping wars and stuff within the series. I think that explains in of itself. But, taking one hard look at just what everybody's saying it's kind of crazy. And I made a post on this, which, you know what, I'm just going to pull it up here just to kind of show an example. But this is basically a post that was made two days ago that blew up. And at this time, when this was screenshotted, this was very early on when it was posted. It got up to like 60 to 80,000 likes on the post. It got over like 2 to 3 million views on the post. There was a lot of quote retweets. And then taking a look at the aftermath of them deleting their post, you could see a lot of people, you know, was talking about this. You could just see it right here because you can't go to the original post because it obviously was deleted. But getting into the main cold hard facts, basically the individual brought the question that that Mina is apparently canonically black. That is what popped up on social media. And obviously, in typical Twitter fashion, it got incredibly toxic. Very, 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 very toxic. And you can obviously imagine there was a lot of racism. Oh yes, 100%. But one thing I do want to talk about is the cold hard facts that Horikoshi himself has obviously written within his manga. And l let's just read this for a second, okay? Ashido's skin. Due to the effects of her quirk, it, ro uh, it boasts a strange pigment, purplish pink, which is why she calls herself Pinky. Basically, this is in relation to the Blue Man. FYI, if you don't know about this, this man called Paul Car uh, Carson was someone that, you know, had his skin turn blue because he had, you know, a mineral or, a, you know, a substance like silver basically treating and being rubbed on his skin. And so, he was very well known for basically having just straight up blue skin. And in a situation like this, when I think of Mina's character and her having pink skin, thanks to her acid, the compound of her very quirk, it's why her skin tone looks very pink. But if she did not have her quirk, if she did not necessarily have the quirk-like ability that alters her skin, she would just probably look like a traditional chap, like a Japanese woman. That's what she would look like. And you have a lot of people that obviously have commented about this. This is probably what she would look like. And obviously, this post right here drew a lot of controversy when this came out uh, a few months back. But basically, you know, a lot of people got extremely upset, molding about the fact that Mina apparently isn't black. And it's like, it's been apparent for a long time now that she's just... She looks Japanese. Who would have thought a Japanese character within a Japanese anime would look Japanese? Holy crap, guys. I did this is this is revolutionary. I, I cannot believe this. I, I, I legit cannot believe that. 
But anyways, it's just, it's so crazy that something like this actually exists. And just like, even despite My Hero Academia, it's manga being over, the community can still showcase just how toxic it can be. But honestly, this isn't just a My Hero Academia problem. This is just honestly a lot of new fans. This is a lot of new anime fan problems and manga fan problems that's happened over the years. I honestly never really saw debates like this until post-COVID. Like, COVID to post-COVID, I've never seen debates like this continuously. And this just, this drama really... It blew up out of nowhere. Like, I honestly was completely unaware of the debate of, like, Mina, apparently the headcanon for a lot of people, she was black. I saw a lot of people saying she was black-coded and all this type of stuff, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then people going out of their way to basically call Studio Bones and Horikoshi racist and all that, and I'm like, How's Horikoshi racist when this is his character, his story, and he's even clarified, like, you know, her skin? And then even the panel showcases this. I'm just like, how can he be racist? But yes, I have seen posts with, like, 20 to 30,000 likes also saying this and getting support that Horikoshi is racist. And I'm just like, dude, man, we need to go back, dude. We need to go back before post-COVID, like, w seriously, like, I cannot believe just how crazy these discussions are, and how much traction they get, like, millions of views, actually millions, we're, we're not talking small ballpark of someone with, like, 30,000 views on a post or something, we're talking millions, and then you know for a fact, like, this post, these type of posts here, are going to be put onto, like, TikTok and stuff and discussed, and you know how toxic that's definitely going to get, so it's just like, dude, we are cooked, man. We are so cooked. Like, eight years ago, eight years ago, okay, I was someone, you could probably see videos of me saying this, but I was anti-gatekeeping. Like, I was. I was an anti-gatekeeper. Like, I did not like to gatekeep. I did not like anime and manga being gatekept from people. But after just seeing this continuous spiral of just toxicity, negativity, and just crazy, crazy, mentally unwell statements from people that leak all over the internet, I really wish we would have get, keep, I kept more. I wish I would have helped more, because this is wild, man, and it's it's never going to recover. I it, it, it won't. Anime is too popular now. It's becoming a global phenomenon, and it's just, it's, it's going to just get more and more toxic, because now we're in the age with anime, where it's the new, like, situation, like, video games cause violence. I know this isn't exactly to the same topic of what this video is about, but it is relevant to just the toxicity comments and all these terminally online people that are joining the anime and manga community. It's just like, I see a lot of people, you know, not being able to separate reality from fiction, and basically they say that, oh, anime is going to cause so-and-so in reality, and it reminds me a lot of just, like, how you had these old people and stuff back in the early 2000s and even in the 2010s saying that video games cause violence. It's thanks to video games why there's people doing violent things within the world. And it's very clear that's not the case. There's no data to really back that up. But obviously, it was a narrative that was continually pushed for a very long time to gain clicks. And even news media outlets and stuff commented on it as well. So it's like, it feels like the whole conversation around anime, it's kind of turning into that. That, that anime causes so-and-so, and it's just, <sighs> I hate it, man. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Be safe, stay healthy, love you guys. Chibi out.